So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So I was thinking we keep making our way down the list of Marvel characters Sony can still use. Oh, hell yeah. We're basically in the MCU now, did you know? Yeah, I mean, everybody in this building keeps telling me that, with big smiles on their faces, but with one eye twitching for some reason. We're pretty much a part of Marvel Studios. Did you know that? Yeah, all right, sir. So I was thinking we make a movie about Morbius. I love it. Hey, let's get some Spider-Man involved in here. Oh, actually, he doesn't have much to do with the script. I've written here. But we're allowed to do it, so let's do it. Let's put like a Spider-Man poster in the background or something. People are gonna go nuts. Okay. And then we put that in the trailer. Yeah, but it's not gonna make sense in the movie. Well, that's what we don't have to put it in the movie. As long as it's in the trailer, that's what matters. Kind of feels like false advertising. Yeah, let's do some of that. That sounds great. Well, okay then. So this guy, Dr. Michael Morbius, has this rare blood disorder, and he's gonna die, probably. Uh-oh. But then he develops a potential cure by combining human DNA and vampire bats. DNA. Oh, it sounds super power origin-y. It is. But then he tests this thing on himself on a ship in international waters and turns himself into a vampire. Oh. Yeah, so now instead of being all sick and thin, he's jacked and muscular, you know, like a bat. That's not really what bats are known for, but I'm glad you're excited. Dude's freaking shredded now. He's got like a six-pack, looks like a Calvin Klein underwear model, you know, like a bat. Okay, cool. What kind of bats you been looking at, though? So when Morbius turns into a vampire, he's gonna kill a a bunch of mercenaries on this boat. Just tear them to shreds. There's gonna be blood everywhere. PG-13. There's gonna be blood sound effects everywhere. Nice. So then Morbius starts to, like, figure out his powers. He's got, like, bat sonar. He's very strong. His nose goes upwards. Oh, super-powered upward noses are tight. But he's gotta drink blood every six hours, or he's gonna get sick again and lose his bat six-pack. Oh, no, so he's gotta keep killing people? Well, no, because we want Morbius to be a good guy, so he's drinking this synthetic blood he developed. Oh, okay, great. But he can feel that that's not gonna sustain him forever. Sooner or later, he's gonna need the real thing. He's gonna be like, you won't like me when I'm hungry. That's kinda like the line from the other thing. It sure is, sir, kinda. Wow, 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 wow. So anyway, Morbius also has this childhood friend, Milo, who has the same blood disorder, and he wants to take the cure, too. Oh, yeah, understandable. But Morbius is like, no, this is a curse, so you die, and I'll figure this out, okay? Kinda rude. Kinda. And also, there's this sick little girl that Morbius is taking care of, at a certain point, he's gonna have to put her into a coma. Oh, no, is she gonna be okay? I don't know. You don't? No, we j he puts her in a coma and we never come back to that storyline. Oh, okay, well... I hope she pulls through. Me too. So eventually Milo does take the injection thing, and then he frames Morbius for a vampire murder of a nurse. Oh, why is he an evil vampire? Because the movie needs a bad guy now. That makes sense. So Morbius gets chased by the police and these FBI guys, and he flies up on top of a roof. Very exciting. Yeah, and then once he's up there, one of the FBI guys pulls a gun and is like, enough! How'd the FBI guy get up there so fast? Unclear. Oh, okay. So Morbius ends up breaking out of jail, and now he's on the run. Thrilling. Yeah, and at a certain point, his assistant slash love interest, because they're both attractive, is being followed by the FBI. Uh-oh. And she manages to lose them and gets on a bus, and Morbius is already on that bus. How did he know she was gonna get on that bus and get on it before her? I don't know. Fair enough. But he's got no choice but to talk to her all secret, like, you know, he's a wanted man. Of course. So anyway, they go sit in a coffee shop and have a little chat. What? I thought you just said they needed to be, like, incognito. Oh, yeah, sir, that was in the bus scene. This is a different scene now, so that doesn't matter anymore. Oh, okay. And then then Morbius overhears some bad guys talking about this lab they run, so he goes and hijacks it from them. Oh, you know what? He should scare one of the guys and be like, I'm Venom. Right, okay, that doesn't really make sense. But we're allowed to do that. We should do that. It's just, even if this is in the same universe, we've never made it seem like the average citizen knows the name Venom. But that's an interconnected thing that we can do, and it'll be good in the trailer. All right, anyway, so then Morbius uses this lab to create a new injection, and he's like, to bats, this is lethal. To humans. It's deadly. Those are synonyms. Yeah, and so his plan is to kill Milo and then himself. Oh, himself? Yeah, he thinks it's his responsibility because he's turning into a vampire, you know? He's gonna have to kill people eventually. Wow, very selfless, you know? That's a good, that's a good sacrifice. So then there's gonna be this big fight between Milo and Morbius. And then what's gonna happen? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm almost sure of it. It's gonna be pretty impossible to see, but they're gonna start on a roof and end up in a sewer. Oh, nice. And now Morbius has to find a way to kill this guy. Is that gonna be hard to do? Actually, 
actually. It's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, he does like a Dragon Ball Z move and shoots a bunch of bats at Milo and then injects him with the thing. He can do that? Yeah, cause see, because of the gene slicing bat human DNA injection, the bats seem Morbius as a brother. Didn't Milo inject himself with the same thing? He did. Okay. So yeah, that worked out great. And so then Morbius injects himself? Well, why would he inject himself? That would kill him. Well, cause of that thing where he said it's his responsibility cause he's gonna drink human blood. Oh yeah, no sir, that's from a previous scene. You keep referencing things characters did or said earlier in the movie. You don't have to do that. Oh, my bad. Yeah, pretty much every scene is a clean slate here. Oh, also his assistant, she's a vampire now. Cause why not? Yeah, why not? And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a good time, but needs more Spider-Man references for sure. Well. Okay, uh... Oh, tell you what, we can use that Doctor Strange spell from No Way Home as an excuse to get Vulture in this thing. Vulture? Yeah, we could just have him kind of pop up in a jail cell and be like, hmm... I hope the food's better in this joint. That's not really how Doctor Strange's spell works. Then they could just let him out of jail because he hasn't done anything wrong in this universe, technically. Right. So then he can fly in with his vulture suit and meet up with Morbius. How does he have a vulture suit in this universe? And he can be like, not sure how I got here. Has something to do with Spider-Man, I think. Just, I think that suit was made with alien tech from the first Avengers movie, so he doesn't have access. Then he could be like, I'm still figuring this place out, but I think a bunch of guys like us should team up and do some good. Ah. And then Morbius can be like, intriguing. That's, okay, none of that really makes sense at all. Doesn't matter. Now we can put Vulture in the trailer. It's all connected. We're part of Marvel Studios. You want me to spruce up any of that dialogue? No, not even worth the effort. All right, amazing. So who should we get to play Morbius? Well, tell you what, I hear Jared Leto's looking for a new superhero project to kind of redeem himself after Suicide Squad. Oh, well, this sounds like the perfect project for that. Hi everybody, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you liked it, and if you didn't know, pitch meetings are now on their very own channel, which is this channel here. So if you could subscribe, that would help out a lot. Also, don't forget to forget the forget button, and let me know in the comments what other movies you want to see pitches for. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. I'll, I'll pick you up at three. I'll just honk when I'm outside.